Go. If your wide format inkjet printer is suffering from an intermittent nozzle check printout, and that means to say that these interruptions, I've shown them with blobs of, uh, of felt tip pen, but imagine those are interruptions in the nozzle check. Now, if they're in different places each time you do a nozzle check, that indicates that air is getting into the system. Now, uh, we ought to check three things inside our printer. We need to actually make sure and we need to clean three items inside our wide format printer uh, and we should clean them using our magic bullet print head cleaner. So the way to do this is to turn the printer on and as soon as this carriage moves across slightly we turn the, we turn the mains off at the, at, the, at the wall or you can take the, get an assistant to take the mains out the back of the printer. We then move that across, right across to the other side. Now most wide format printers are the same. Let's, let's position that so we can see that quite nicely. Let's get our light in the right place so we can see what we're doing. Let's get this out the way. Now let's show you what we need you to do. We need you to actually use the magic bullet cleaner and we need you to, to clean the wiper blade. Let's do the wiper blade first. We want you to soak a, uh, a cotton bud with the magic bullet but we need to show you where the wiper blade is first of all so let's get the let's get the the camera and let's go all the way into the print head now I'm going all the way in now and we're trying to see where the print head where the actual wiper blade is now if I'm clever I can hold the camera with one hand and I can put a screwdriver in and I can move the, can you see I'm moving the wiper blade across with a screwdriver. So I'm moving that across, let's do it with my fingers, oh I know it's actually done, sorry about this. So it's moved across, so that's, that's now moved across into the position that I can get it right, right there. And what we now do is we'll put the end of the screwdriver that's the wiper blade there, the end of my screwdriver there. Now, what we need to do is thoroughly soak that in, in Magic Bullet. And then what I tend to do is I wipe my screwdriver across the top of the wiper blade. And in this particular printer, I see all sorts of residues coming off on the end of my screwdriver. You see those residues? Now that wiper blade has to be absolutely beautifully clean. So that's the first thing to worry about is that wiper blade. The next component to worry, and once you're finished incidentally, you push that out the way. So you can see I've pushed the wiper blade out the way quite nicely. Let's see if I can get the, this is a little bit awkward because I want to get the, I want to get the light so you can actually see it properly. Let's get my finger out the way. You can probably see it just above the, the, the capping station there. Now beyond the wiper blade is the capping station. Now the capping station is that little area there. Can you see that, that bit of felt there? Now that's discolored at the moment in ink. And what we should do is we should take our, we should take our magic bullet, we should fill up a syringe, so that is the syringe that's supplied with the magic bullet, and we actually put the we put an amount of magic bullet right on the end there onto that pad. And we we soak that pad. Let's show you by the end of the screwdriver. We soak that pad in magic bullet, and then what we do is we can actually draw out the residue with the syringe. So we put about, let's say, five, set, five millilitres on that pad, and then you draw away about five millilitres. Now you keep doing that until that pad looks absolutely beautifully clean. And while we're at it, around the edge of the capping station is a little, it's a little uh, O-ring seal. Now we want to get our, our um, we want to get our little cotton buds and clean around that o-ring seal as well so all this area is beautifully clean then finally we need to clean the spit pad now this area here is one of the main areas where the print head 
exhausts itself of ink. Now that area is absolutely saturated in exhaust ink, so we need to get a pad of, in this case it would be J-cloth, absolutely soaked in magic bullet, and we get in there and we, we dab the pad and we keep taking off uh, the excess ink and we keep doing that until that exhaust pad, the pad that we call a spit pad, is completely clean. So those three components, the wiper blade, the capping station and the spit pad, are the three components that look after the health of your print head. When we've done that, we come back out of the printer and most wire format printers operate on a similar principle. We can then move the head back, we can turn the printer back on. Now let's deal with a few little printer tests. First of all, we want to be able to check that the printer is behaving itself. And the way we do that is simply get our standard image. Now you get that from us by emailing us in and we'll send you the standard image as a as a printer calibration check but you can always use this as a printer purge uh, uh, device as well now the idea is, is you print out a few of these and then you do a nozzle check and hopefully your nozzle check will be greatly will be greatly uh, improved what you then do is you carry out a consistency check and a consistency check is this is the way I do it. I print out about 50, if I give the camera back to you Paul, thank you. I print out about 50 identical prints and I need to make sure that my first print and my, my last print are perfect and my production is perfect. I need to make sure I've got a good rich black, a nice neutral, but the most, the most critical uh, 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 um, uh, colour is always the pale flesh tone. So if I see a good pale flesh tone consistently through my print run, I know I'm okay. Another good advantage of this particular uh, 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 this particular image is you've got your primary colours: your red, green, blue, uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and you've got a nice smooth graduation here. If your printer is not giving you a perfect graduation, simply get your, your uh, paper supplier, in this case it would be Marit Professional Paper, to do you a custom profile. We advise you to check your custom profile at least every three to six months. And that's about it. If we can give you any further information or any, any, any help, please email us in to the link that you see below. Thank you very much for watching.